Hi guys, welcome back to Code Switch. Okay, so you might have seen there is a app settings for JSON file when you create an ASP.NET Core application. But in case of a console application, that is not there. So how can we enable it using dependency injection? Let's have a look. All right. So as you can see, I have a console application going on on here. I can show you. So we have the demo and I have a program.cs file over there. I click over there and he can just see some console.write line. Let's try to run this. Okay, just the welcome message over here. So in order to add the app settings file, we can just add a JSON file for now. So add new item and here we can search for JSON. Okay, so select the JSON file and name it app settings.json. That is the convention that we have followed, right? Click on add. Okay, now we have the app settings.json. Let's open it and add a key value pair. Okay, so now I'm going to add a key called uh, name, maybe. Okay, and the value as code switch, our channel name. Okay, just save it. Okay, now we have added the key value to our app, app settings.json. Okay, so as you can see here, and what we need to do the next is to make it copy to output directory. Why we are doing this is to make sure that every time it changes, we need to add it to the bin folder. Okay, now make sure you save it everything. Now, here we are going to start our dependency injection part. Okay, so the first step is always to create a service container. So you can say that create a service collection for the dependency injection and here we can define a new variable or service collection or something service collection equal to new service collection but where we get this class service collection so for that you need to install some nuggets right so go to your uh, project and go to your nuget package manager and here on the browse tab you can search for dependency injection and there we go so here we can see microsoft extension dependency injection just install it it might take some time because it's a big nuget package okay let's wait whether it completes okay looks like it done okay now we need another few packages so you can search for configuration because we are dealing with the configuration we need three packages from here so the first one is actually microsoft.extension.configuration you can install that okay so the next one is microsoft.extension.configuration.file extensions install that and the third one is just below it microsoft extension.configuration.json why because we are using the json file so we have installed all the three required uh, configuration and the dependency injection okay so using the dependency injection we can resolve this one service collection error that we are getting okay click on that blue that uh, bulb and resolve this all right so we have created a service collection so the next thing is we need to build a configuration we need to tell the configuration classes that this is our file that you need to make okay so for that as we always use in dotnet code we can create an i configuration for this an interface i configuration let's initialize and remove the l and resolve it i configuration is coming from the extensions.configuration okay now we have the i configuration now we need to build a configuration okay so we can say that configuration equals okay new config no no not this one configuration builder okay so which studio is trying to suggest me okay the first thing that we need to add is to add a set base bar that we can get from the app context but there is a catch because we need to get the parent uh, full name of that so what we can do is app context dot base directly let's let's cut this we need to put it inside the directory we need to get the parent directory so let's call the uh, let's call the directory it's coming from system.io directory resolve it system.io and you can call the get parent because that will give the parent name of that okay put the app context to base directory here and get the full name all right now we need to tell to uh, add our json file so let's dot add json file and name our json file so in this case we have app settings.json 
and it's showing the red line because we are not building it so let's build it dot build okay now as you can see we have a service collection and we have a configuration okay so let's remove this unwanted windows okay now we need to add this configuration to the service collection okay like as you can see add the configurations to the service collection okay so we have defined the configuration over here and we have the service collection over here yeah so let's call the service collection and let's add it as a single term okay so add single term and okay so we have the type as i configuration so we can add it as the configuration okay now this is all it takes now we have done everything now for testing we can do one thing we can uh, create a test class maybe so add a class new class okay and we can name the uh, i think test will be fine right so let's name it the class as test not test class okay and click on add okay now we have created a blank class now let's add a constructor ctor for the short okay now in the constructor we can receive an i configuration from the dependency injection so define the i configuration and resolve it extensions.configurations and let's name it and create a local variable for that we can create a local read only variable okay so i have created a local configuration and assign it during the initialization okay now let's create a demo function to check whether everything is working so i'm saying that test method maybe okay so this method what this method need to do it need to read the data from the json and it need to print it out so let's create a variable to read the data from json so data from json maybe okay json file equals so okay we have the configurations we get from the dependency injection from that get the section name and get the value and if you wonder where this name come from as we seen if you open the config app settings to json you can see that we have at the key as name and the data as code switch right okay now we get the data from the json file it picks the data value for the name to this now let's write it into the console so data from json file add the semicolon yeah all right so when we call this this is what happened now there is a catch we need to add this class to the dependency injection also so what i am going to do here i am trying to add this class okay so it's a concrete class it didn't have an interface i have i have not created an interface this is for demo right so that's why so just let's add the test class okay that's it that's a single term okay now we have added both of the items right now in order to we need if we need to get an instance of what we added to the service collection we can define a service provider okay so i'm defining a service provider that is service collection dot build service he has automatically suggested it for me and from that service provider i need to get an instance of the test right that also we has also provided me so this is actually an instance of a test so let's naming it as test instance maybe for the demo as so we can understand it okay so we get an instance of the test now from that instance i am calling the test method that we created okay so i am putting the test method now inside this test method what we can do we can put a debugger so that we can see how the execution flows okay now let's start it all right so i think the test method is called done the test method is called okay now the debugger is here and you can see we are trying to get the data so this i configuration everything is injected so if we if we look at the configuration see it is not done it is injected okay now we are getting the data from the json let's see if we are properly able to get the data oh yeah look at code switch now remove the debugger and complete the project okay now let's try to run it again there we go what we put in the json is here now let's try to change it and try to see it okay so what we want to do is call switch youtube channel the reason why it always try to get the latest is because we add it as if we change you are copying it to the bin directory look yep code switch youtube channel okay that's all about today